Good day everybody. Just doing a real quick pour because I've got some leftover resin after doing a clear coat over a couple of paintings so I thought I'd do a real quickie for you guys. I've mixed my resin um, it's the ratio of two to one two parts of resin one part hardener and I'm using Artisu pigments here and it, the cup is already starting to get pretty hot so I'm going to do a real quick quickie I hope um, yep that feels really really hot I'm not mixing it in too much the colors I'm using is a metallic pigment copper blue diamond metallic pigment that's this one and Neptune is this one uh, snow white and that's it for now I'm just going to put another glove on it's quite a warm day even though I've got the air conditioner uh, in the studio but uh, it is quite a warm day so resin seem to to know this and it heats up real quick I've been doing my um, dragonfly series so I might do something dragonflyish again but I want to do a background so here we go just gonna do a real random pour a little bit there a little bit there just to do a background a bit there oh that is getting so hot it heats up so fast that you can't even hold it okay bit of this white I'm just gonna pour it all on there I'm just gonna overlap with the white and then go with this beautiful copper overlapping colors mamma mia or as my friend would say bloody Nora And that, if you're watching this, I hope you're having a little chuckle because I'm using your expressions because they're so cool. That looks cool already. I'm just going to add a little bit of this clear around, just spread it around a bit and help that movement. There's quite a bit of this resin left. So it's good to do these little quickies. Just doing a background. I'm going to use my heat gun to spread it. Okay, and I'm just going to use the stick to spread it out to the edges a little bit and yep that is already getting quite thick as you can probably see but that never stopped me before and it ain't gonna stop me now using my left right hand as well which is a little bit clumsy but I'm trying to get out of your way so you can see what I'm doing here Oh, actually that white I'm just gonna flip it around so I can have a better look at what I'm doing okay just got a clean I've got a clean um, stick I just want to leave that to be white I want the canvas to be showing there hopefully there we go. That's just a little bit of pigment. Just a bit of dye that sort of 
found its way there somehow. Probably it was on the table, which is okay. What I'll do is I'm just going to grab some of this bronze and just put it over the top of it and camouflage that. And yep, that's getting quite thick now. Thicky, thicky, thick. And I'm just going to go around and make sure that there are no bare bits of canvas showing. And then I'm just going to get my alcohol wipe and wipe the edges just to clean them because I don't want anything on the edges. I can always fix them up later. That die, I know exactly where that die is coming from. It was on the table that I didn't clean properly because I've been doing something else and it's so annoying. It's super strong. Anyway. resin gets taken off easier than the dye. Okay, so here we go. A little bit more of this clear. Just around the edges. And then I'm going to heat it up. So I'm going to use up all of that resin and not leave any. Actually, I've got plenty of resin. Maybe I can just add some more to these colors and then just do the edges as well it can get quite sticky and messy but you know what I don't mind that it is what it is you just work with what you've got I just don't like wasting things and sometimes you can squirt a little bit of alcohol in there like that it's just isopropyl alcohol and you start mixing it and it'll loosen it right up See? So that is has given me lots of lots of um, resin to work with and it can go down the side there, cover that purple that I didn't want. It all looks messy but don't worry. It's also a good idea to have a mold of something, like a jewelry mold or, you know, something that you can use up your resin and not worry about wastage. So this beautiful, see how thick that is? Look at that. That's really thick. So now I'm going to hit it with a few drops of alcohol. And when you start stirring it, it's sort of starts to resist it a little bit but soon enough it gives and it relaxes back down and then you've got a workable medium so i'm going to put this over here just to break up a bit of that blue and give it something i might even go around this way a bit with the alcohol it works but you have to work very fast because it does evaporate and then things start to thicken up again so that's that oh very very sticky this gorgeous look at that yeah it's like really thick honey three squirts of alcohol in there go 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 Oh, this one's not. Aha, uh -huh, you're starting to submit. That's the way. Okay, here we go. Where do we need some of this one? Maybe around here a bit. I might actually go on the edge here as well. Just to give it some interest. 
So that looks real sticky and yucky at the moment. But once I heat it up, it'll um, it'll relax again. Oh, maybe a bit more of this white. Oh, sticky, sticky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt some alcohol in the actual resin mix. My clear resin, if I can get it to loosen up a little bit. Come on, honey. Come on, you can do it. A bit more alcohol, maybe. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You just continue with whatever you're doing. It wants to, but it's really, really getting stubborn. Okay, where's my clean stick? I'm going to try and mix it. Okay, see how sticky that is? Now, you can't do this with every resin. This is um, quite a uh, dense resin and you can play with it a bit longer. So if you want uh, something that will do this, look for a uh, a medium to high density resin okay but not all the resins will do this okay I'm just going to put some of that white there we need a little bit of white a little bit over here maybe really um random I'm not even thinking I'm just it's the best thing when you're doing these kinds of paintings don't think too much you're gonna muck it up okay that's that I've got a drop here which I'm gonna do that to and I'm gonna squirt it with a little bit of alcohol just around and then I'm gonna hit it with some heat just to heat it up first and get it to move There we go. Starting to move now. That's great. Just gonna pick up these little drops and just go around and fix the sides. Somebody's asked me why I use um, the heat gun and a hair dryer sometimes together and a torch okay so they each have their purpose the heat gun is great because it'll heat the resin and loosen it up and it'll pop the bubble because it's quite hot and it will also create some really cool effects the hair dryer, if you have it set up on high, high temperature and low speed, it will also give you some really awesome uh, effects which will be different from the, from the heat gun. So it's good to practice with both, you know. Torch, pretty much you can do the effects as well, but I find if I use the torch too much in one spot, it will burn my resin. And you don't want that, so heat gun is probably more gentle, more gentle than than the torch. So I'm going to use my hair dryer now. Put it on hot. And I forgot to tell you that I actually have a piece of cardboard underneath this canvas just to support it so it doesn't sag in the middle. And 
just fixing up these bits that I missed. Sticky, sticky. I've burned some, I've burned my resin just there, which was, yep, that's because I pushed it too far and I burnt it. I wasn't really paying good attention. That's okay because it's going to have a dragonfly over the top of it. So probably go with a gold dragonfly or maybe even a silver dragonfly and, uh, and then clear it. So that will fix that problem. But actually it's not showing any any marks which is uh, quite surprising. Quite surprising. Alrighty. That's that. So I might leave it for now and I will do another video probably tomorrow where I will put a dragonfly in there flying happily because I am continuing with my dragonfly series and quite happy to do so. So I'm just doing a little swirly wherever I can see somewhere where it looks like it needs something. I will go around and, and give it a little bit but I don't think I want to touch it anymore. I think that's just fine. So it's always good to go around and just scoop up or scrape up rather these drips just to help yourself a little bit later I know it looks very messy and unorganized but it's all gonna work work out well in the end so thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to doing another video for you guys bye for now